Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Aida Muzasi, a health and science journalist using my YouTube channel to inform you on all matters of health. Mm. So today our focus is on first-time moms just to help you improve your mental health and well-being. Joining me is uh, Grace Mwiga who is a mental health therapist and through her we are going to understand maternal mental health and most importantly solutions to anxiety and depression. So as mentioned, today uh, we are looking at uh, maternal mental health and specifically we are just focusing on how to improve your mental health or avoid anxiety and depression as a first-time mom. And of course, joining me is uh, Grace Mwiga. She is a mental health therapist. And through her, we are just going to understand how we can improve our mental health as first-time moms. Um, Grace, thank you, first of all, for your time. Thank you. And so when we are talking of our mental health during our pregnancy and after birth as a first-time mom, what are some of the signs that we are looking at and what are the main mental health problems? Okay, um, mental health, basically, just to take you back a little bit, it's, it has become so rampant. It's rising, and uh, I am glad that we are talking about it because it is in talking about it that uh, we are able to let people know um, some of these issues and what to look at. Because most of the people actually go through uh, mental health depression uh, issues without even knowing. Yeah. So um, some of the things that uh, we need to look out as a, a mother, yeah, when it comes to mental health is when um, when you're feeling you're having days where you just want to be all by yourself you want to be enclosed by yourself mm -hmm. you're withdrawing yourself from the rest of the people mm -hmm. your family your mm -hmm. friends and uh, your usual activities then there, there could be a problem and uh, i do not mean waking up feeling uh, down one day and the following day you're mm -hmm. okay no when this happens over a period of time basically two weeks consecutively. Every day you're waking up mm -hmm. and you're not feeling uh, like your normal self, then that, that is a problem yeah. and it needs to be checked. Mm -hmm. The other thing could be if uh, you, you feel like uh, you don't want to be around your baby, mm -hmm. like your baby is actually irritating you, taking care of this baby is a mm -hmm. problem, yeah. you just don't want to be around them, mm -hmm. then that is also another, another sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you need to be checked. Mm -hmm. Another thing is if you stop doing things that you used to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And most of the times we find uh, when, we, when we meet up and people are talking and they're like, hey, nani, mm -hmm. they used to be like this and, and squeezy. Mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. not like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably this person could be slipping into depression. So when you find that you don't enjoy the things that you used to enjoy previously, mm -hmm. then uh, you need to, be, to need to do something mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are just a few of the signs. Mm -hmm. Though there are many, yeah. but that's, those are just a few of the major, major mm -hmm. signs that uh, women who are who go through uh, depression, mm -hmm. maternal depression, go through. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So as a first-time mom, of course, uh, there is uh, the anxiety of what to expect or what mm. will be the results of um, uh, this pregnancy mm. or when I give birth, what exactly will happen? Mm -hmm. How do you prepare yourself as a first-time mom mm -hmm. just to avoid the depression and the anxiety? Okay, um, as a first-time mom, it is, imp it is normal to be anxious. Now, the anxiety becomes a problem when you're constantly anxious, which actually turns into fear. Mm -hmm. But you're, you're now, you have fear of uh, the unknown, which is yet to come. Yeah. So the best thing to do is, if you're able to, to get someone who has been through this journey before, mm -hmm. and just, you know, talk to them, hear their side of the story, listen to their experiences. They might not be similar to yours, but at least you have an idea of uh, what, is hap what is to be expected. Mm -hmm. So that even when you have those days where you're feeling like your body is weak, mm -hmm. your body is giving up, then you know it is not something abnormal. It is something that other people have gone through and it is something that I can sail through. Mm -hmm. So it is also important, it is very important to surround yourself with people um, who are in the same space and just get to talk to people. And whenever you're feeling like uh, something that is not normal, happening to you mm -hmm. then just just talk to, to talk to anyone yes mm -hmm. it is important to also have a support system mm -hmm. could be your friends could be family could be your spouse mm -hmm. 
never walk through that journey alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh, for for the solutions now, mm -hmm. as a first time mom, what are some of the things other than those that you've mentioned that probably uh, our space or those that are around us can do for us to improve mm -hmm. our mental health? Mm -hmm. What else can I do as a first time mom to mm -hmm. ensure that I? Uh, um, not depressed or uh, just avoiding the anxiety. Okay, some of the activities that we can do, which uh, prove have proven uh, re uh, results, mm -hmm. you ensure that you're physically active. Look for something to do that will keep you physically active. Mm -hmm. um, there's this hormone called endorphin, mm -hmm. uh, commonly known as the, the feel-good hormone. Mm -hmm. When you get active, physically active, your body releases this hormone. And this hormone can last you up to eight hours. It's able to stay in your system up to eight hours. Mm -hmm. So this hormone will take you through the day. And by the time you become physically active and this hormone is released, then you're, you feel good. That's why it's called a feel-good hormone. Mm -hmm. And you become mentally stable. So whatever it is that was... Uh, stressing you because there are very many reasons in this life that there are very many things that can stress you mm -hmm. so whatever it was stressing you uh, you're able to handle it if a stressful events come your way throughout during the day you're able to handle it even better because you're mentally stable yeah so that is one be physically active uh, look for something that you enjoy yeah. doing it could be painting drawing you know biking just do for, look for something that you enjoy doing. Maybe you love cooking. Maybe you love baking. Mm -hmm. Do something that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. The other thing could be um, taking systematic breaks. If you are working, or even if you are a stay-at-home mom, get get take those breaks. Don't uh, overwhelm yourself with work. Mm -hmm. Take uh, breaks whenever need be or wherever you can. Just go get a breather, mm -hmm. then come back and carry on with your work. Mm -hmm. The other thing would be. Um, it's also important, even when you're taking breaks, sometimes you can decide to take some time away from your family or your friends or, or, or your, your children. You can take a weekend getaway mm -hmm. with the girls. It's, it's okay. It's good, actually, for your health. It's yeah. very important. Mm -hmm. Your social life is very important. So make sure you also have a social life mm -hmm. besides home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing you can do, which is uh, very important, and this you can do anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're feeling weighed down, we call them deep breath exercises. Just, it, it will take you even like a minute. Taking deep breaths and, and then exhale mm -hmm. about five to seven times. By the time you're done with that, even right now, just try it. And then now you can tell us <laughs> how you're feeling mm -hmm. at the end of it all. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now uh, for um, just the final words mm -hmm. to a to a first time mom, yeah. someone that has just probably uh, gotten pro pregnant, or even yeah. someone that is thinking of now getting into this journey of pregnancy and family, yeah. what will you will you tell them mm -hmm. as something that they can do? Of course, mm -hmm. there is so much anxiety when it comes to pregnant moms yeah. and even moms that have given birth. Yeah. So, what exactly can you tell them as a as a takeaway? Um, mothers. What I can tell you, first of all, it is okay to put yourself first. It is okay. It is not selfish. It is okay to think of yourself before any other person because it is only when you're mentally stable that you're able to take care of your children, your husband, and those around you. So please put yourself first. Think about self. Take care of yourself, and then now you're able to take care of others. And just to remember, always delegate whenever you can. We understand that this is a weighty journey. Delegate. If you have help at home, delegate. Don't do everything by yourself. And for uh, the last thing before we go, I'd just like to remind you that this journey is just seasonal. You're not, you can't be pregnant for more than nine months. You can't be, a, your child cannot be an infant for so long, you know. It's just seasonal. So embrace that season. If you're pregnant, embrace the pregnancy season with a, with a, with a, with a joyful heart. And then uh, after a period of time, you will be out of it. Whatever is stressing you about being pregnant, you will be out of it and you will move on to the next phase. Same as uh, the postpartum period. Enjoy the, the season, enjoy, embrace, 
and just consider yourself blessed. Well, I hope that uh, that has been very helpful to you, whether you're a first time mom, second time mom, or a third time. All right, so I hope that uh, through our mental health therapist right here, that is a Grace Mwiga, she's been able to give you a few tips just to improve your mental health, which is very key. Remember, there's no health without mental health. So Grace, you also have your YouTube channel. Yes. You can just share with my audience right here so that they also give you a subscription. All right, my YouTube channel is SSL Mental Awareness, at SSL Mental Awareness, uh, where we share tips and uh, ev everything regarding mental health. Mm -hmm. So you can follow us. To be able to get such content mm -hmm. all right you. well thank you so much uh, for tuning in i hope that uh, you've been able to learn please if this has been of help to you kindly just subscribe to my youtube channel and we'll continue just informing you on all matters health not just mental health but all matters health my name is aida muzati once again i am a health and science journalist using my YouTube channel to inform you on all matters health. Remember, your health always matters.